Good morning, modern steaders. Today is day 19 on the Icelandic chicken eggs. So yesterday, we took out the egg turner, candled the eggs again, and just left them in there on the bottom. We're keeping the humidity up. That says 58%, but we got a gauge in there that's more accurate, and it's higher, and there's a lot of water in the bottom of the incubator. When we took the eggs out and candled them, half of them were fertile, and the other half were not. The reason for that is we leave them on our counter for a while because we only had two Icelandic chickens laying eggs at the time. So we didn't want to just put a couple of eggs in there. So we'd save them up until we got two dozen. We knew that the fertility rate wouldn't be great, but we knew we'd have more eggs put in the incubator and more to hatch out by collecting that many. We need to go check on our silky hen this morning and see how she's doing. Last night was her first night again in New York City for a while. Our kombucha is doing good down here, doing the continuous brew cycle. We'll be able to make another batch of flavored kombucha before you know it. Which is good because we go through that stuff so fast. I wonder how all the meat chickens did last night. Being separated, there's not so many of them. I bet you they enjoyed more grass for all of them. You wanna come out? You ready to go out? Let's see how Rufus and the two Icelandic chickens are doing. Good morning, girls. How you doing this morning? No? You don't like the camera? Hey, that's my thumb finger. You want to eat the grain, not the finger. Oh, you're fresh. But here's a beautiful rooster. It'll be nice to be hatching out more Icelandic chicks next spring. The last batch of Icelandic eggs we hatched out, we sold the five chicks that we hatched. This time we're going to keep them. And we're going to build up our Icelandic chicken flock over the winter. So next spring we'll have more to hatch out from. It's gonna be awesome. It'll be neat to see how different the flock looks. The Icelandic chickens are not all the same, like a Bard Rock's all black and white, a Rhode Island red, they're all red chickens. Bard Rock's, each chicken is different. So that'll be really nice to see what the flock will look like. Let's check on the garden. It's taken off crazy. Here are the renegade tomato plants. One of them is starting to flower out right here. Be interesting to see if we end up getting any tomatoes off of it or not. It is getting late in the season and it's cooled off quite a bit. But the plants are doing awesome. We're already starting to get a lot of dieback on the squash plants, which is just crazy. Here's a nice cucumber, a little on the fat side, but looking good. Stepping on apples. Oh, another nice cucumber. You heard that? That was just an apple dropping. We have been having a lot of cucumbers, which is nice. But this year we've not had a very great year for zucchinis and summer squash from this garden or the hayfield gardens. I think it's just been too wet or something's been eating them. I think it's more of the wet and cool weather. Today it's supposed to be 58 for a high today. And it's just the beginning of September. This weather is crazy. But so far, I'm pretty excited with our fall hay bale gardens. Look at how beautiful those plants are doing. That's just lovely. Can't wait to see what we get out of here for this fall for some cabbage and broccoli. They're looking beautiful.
You can see where the chicken tractor's been. The meat chickens have been eating the grass down nicely. That'll make for a nice high quality bird and some really nice yellow fat in the meat and in the chicken, which will make an awesome chicken stock. Good morning, birds. How are we doing? You liking having more room? We don't have to move you this morning. Now by looking at that grass, we'll move them this afternoon when we get home. We're gonna top off their feed and give them some more water. Before we're having all the meat chickens in here, we're having to move the chicken tractor twice a day. Now we'll only have to move it once a day. Once they get bigger, we'll have to stop moving it twice a day again. Any guesses on the breeds? They're all feathered out and they're looking beautiful. Now yesterday was very interesting when I was moving these birds and picking them up, I could feel the size difference in the different breeds. I didn't remember which ones were which, there is a difference in what kind of heritage bird you raise for meat. We're going to be keeping track of that and next year we'll know what breeds we want to order and which ones we don't. Now this chicken tractor doesn't look like it needs to be moved either. We're going to top off their feed. In here they are hooked up to an automatic waterer. And it was amazing how fast they picked that up yesterday. They weren't even in here for five minutes and they were using that system. You guys like having more room? More free choice grass to eat per chicken? You're terrorizing on Pluto. Now I just want to check and make sure they have more than enough water. Let's see if we can get them wet. Yep, they have enough water for today. This afternoon we'll top it off. It smells like apples here. It smells like fall. I love that smell. But that just means winter's coming soon. Ooh. How we doing? You ready to come out? That was one thing I wanted to tell you. By getting those two roosters in the freezer yesterday, it's a lot quieter around here. Those two roosters, they were going back and forth with Mr. Biggs and Rufus. So those, any of the other roosters would crow, they'd start crowing and it just started going nuts. And they didn't start until like 5 a.m. this morning, when usually they're starting around 4, 4.30 in the morning. So I'm kind of, so I'm pretty glad that they're in the freezer. They're ready to come out. They're off to the races. I know you're gonna ask. There's the Silky. She's doing just fine. They're doing a wonderful job cleaning up the area the pigs were in last year. They're actually helping spreading it out and putting the dirt back that the pigs had rooted up.
gonna go shut off the water. The garden's looking nice. We have kind of neglected it this year. We've been very busy with the off-grid outdoor kitchen build, but I think it's been a good year to neglect the garden for a few reasons. It's not been a very good growing season this year. It's been very wet and cold. And we've been able to get the off-grid outdoor kitchen built. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link to that video right here. And next year, that's gonna help us be a lot more productive with starting seeds in there in the spring winter time slash spring time. It's gonna be a greenhouse in the front. And it'll be heated with a wood stove. We'll be able to can and process everything that we grow. The off-grid outdoor kitchen took us away from the garden this year, but it'll make us more productive in the following years. Sometimes it's just a give and take. But the onions are looking nice. They're still growing. They haven't started to fall over yet, the tops, so they're not ready to harvest, which is good because the onions themselves are not huge. String beans are doing. So like we need to add some more compost to the gardens for next year. The beets are doing pretty good. We've had an awesome year with tomatoes. We've had a really good year so far with tomatoes. I think this has been our best year ever with abundance wise of tomatoes. The peppers are looking really nice. I hope they just grow bigger. We got lots of them. They're just small still. Cauliflower's coming in nicely. Hopefully it stays a nice tight head. This one did not. Cabbage is doing nice. And the tomatoes are just beautiful. Look at that one. That's just a thing of beauty. Carrots look nice. And then the corn. This stuff's gonna be ready to pick. It's getting close. The apple trees have been going crazy. You got all those apples. All the apples on the ground, we've been picking up a lot. When we go in there and see the pigs, you can see all the big piles of apples they have. The outdoor kitchen is coming along nicely. We need to trim out all the windows. Put a nice trim board here. We need to get a board up there and enclose that. We're gonna paint all the frames black and all the hardware black. We need to get some boards up here in the overhang. Get the window and the side all trimmed off. And we need to finish up this little bit of siding on the eave overhang. The back looks nice. Looks beautiful. These squash plants have just been taking off lately. I don't know if it's gonna be too late in the season. Got a nice white pumpkin here. It's resting on the cattle panel. And same with this one once it gets bigger. We got some squash going here. I'm pretty sure these are buttercup squash. This looks like spaghetti squash to me. We've had some zucchinis and summer squash going. They just haven't gotten big this year. We haven't had the heat for them. 
and the potatoes are doing good, but we haven't had them flower out yet. Look how green these plants are. So the hay bale gardening has worked out amazing. Ooh, look at that nice zucchini right there. Another one there to pick those tomorrow. Yeah, those are nice. Another summer squash, but they're just not growing. That one rotted. We've had a lot of rain. And there are the potatoes. They did good and they've seemed to peter off without flowering out yet, so. It'll be interesting to see when we dig up the potatoes and find out how good of a harvest we have this year. Now we're gonna go check on the stars of the show, the pigs. They're probably sleeping. Good morning, girls. Are you sleeping? Oh, big stretch. You gonna get up for us? No? It's a nice cool morning, you don't wanna get up? What about you, Mrs. Pigs? Oh, big yawn. Yeah. How's that dirt pile? Yep. They're in no rush to get up this morning. <laughs> I guess we won't be seeing the pigs running around being happy and frolicking through the pasture this morning. Maybe after work I'll come back out and shoot some more video of them running around having fun. But let me show you how many apples we've been getting this year. Look at that pile. And then that pile, and then they've eaten a bunch of them. And then there's just apples all over the ground from all the apple trees in here. All right, let's let the pigs out. I told you when I got home from work, we were gonna come let the pigs out and see if they ran around or not. We locked them up in the pen before we left for work this morning. It took a little while, they were still sleepy. Good afternoon. You girls are silly. Gonna eat my boot now? We have plenty of apples out there. You don't need to eat my boots. You don't need to eat my boot, I'm telling you. Good. The modern setters want to see you run. Run free like happy pigs. Now that's a happy pig. Smells like apples. Yeah. What? Blow some good apples. You're a sloppy eater. Hope you enjoyed today's modern setter update. The pigs aren't too active this morning. They're pretty sleepy still. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it, it really helps our channel grow. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.